All right, folks, here we go. We've made it to the serious business of bowl season, the really big football games, getting you ready for New Year's weekend. Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, always glad to be with you. Check out the sports betting podcast. Adam Burke does a great job. I get an opportunity to be on Adam uh, with Adam once in a while and uh, really enjoy having those chats. It's exceptional information. Do check it out and follow along on Twitter at Bang the Book. All right, let's focus on bowl season. We're going to do the game Saturday. Take a break on Sunday for Week 17 of the NFL, and then New Year's Day on Monday. Tons of big football games. All right, let's go. First of all, we get the Tech Slayer Bowl. This is in Jacksonville, and we get an SEC-ACC matchup. Louisville open five, up to six and a half, seven against Mississippi State. The total on the game has been on the rise from 61 and a half up to 63. Uh, catching points with an SEC team, especially once you get it to that key number of seven could be an attractive way to go. Uh, we go to the Liberty Bowl, Iowa State and Memphis. Now the bottom line is Memphis is playing on their home field. Let's see, did we see that earlier this year? Yes, we did. Florida Atlantic played on their home field, uh, and it was flat out a boat race. Uh, the number on the game, uh, you know, Memphis three-and-a-half point favorite. Total on the game is 66. Uh, you know, there's a Memphis team that's a beaten at home this year. Lots of offense could be on display here. A total sitting at 66. I could see that actually going up a little bit as we get closer to kickoff on Saturday. Then we go to the Fiesta Bowl, Washington and Penn State. Uh, I think you got to look coaches here. And we're seeing four and a half down to two. Penn State is favored. It's now all the way below the key number of three. That is a big, big line move. Uh, you know, you've got Washington with the number one run defense in the country trying to shut down Saquon Barkley. And then know this, with extra time to prepare, and we know what Peterson did in his years at Boise State, know that Washington will have a trick play or two up their sleeve. Watch for that in the Fiesta Bowl. The Orange Bowl, Wisconsin, a six-point favorite. Total is 45 against Miami, another team playing in their own backyard. Both of these teams will see if the time has allowed them to recover from the missed opportunity of being able to get into the Final Four. Of course, you had Miami with that punch to the gut, losing to Pittsburgh, and then they were throttled by Clemson. So that was the letdown spot. Let's see if Mark Rick can get this team to rebound. Low total on the game at 45. And uh, don't forget, uh, we're moving on to Monday, and that's where big boy football really starts to kick in. New Year's Day. Although, out of the gate, the Outback Bowl. Is Michigan really doing a cartwheel to be in the Outback Bowl? Uh, they're going against South Carolina. South Carolina is an eight-point favorite. Total in the game is 43. Two really good defenses, but I think most champs put a stamp on this program. i got to believe you know, South Carolina could be a tad bit more motivated uh, to be playing in this particular spot. The Peach Bowl uh, in Atlanta, Central Florida and Auburn. Talk about motivation, clearly on the side of Central Florida. Auburn thought they had an opportunity for the national championship, let it get away, and the intangible play here Auburn 9.5, total 65, up to 67. But you flat out have to love what the head coach has done here. Scott Frost, he's off to greener pastures, at least money-wise for sure, going to Nebraska. But this is a team, unbeaten season. And the coach says, listen, I'm leaving, but I'm not leaving until this season is done. And that is extremely admirable to me. I think there's continuity for Central Florida. And I think they will play like men possessed for their coach who stuck around and showed loyalty to them, so I would keep tabs on that. Uh, Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida, Notre Dame, one-point favorite, up to three, totals 51-and-a-half. LSU, uh, they closed the season in fine fettle, uh, going 6-1 and one at the end of the year. Don't forget, Notre Dame really stubbed their toe with losses to Miami and Stanford. Uh, this could be kind of a knockdown, dragout kind of football game. Then we get to the semifinals, the Final Four, who's going to play uh, for the national championship. First of all, it's the Rose Bowl, uh, Georgia and Oklahoma. Uh, this is a game open pick. Georgia's up to one and a half, two, and we're seeing two really great offenses on display here. Total on the game is 60. Uh, Baker Mayfield, opportunity to light it up, but don't sleep on the run game of Georgia. I think you could see points uh, in the Rose Bowl if the weather's good, which it should be. Look for a fast track there. And then the really intriguing matchup is the Bama-Clemson rematch. 35-31, Clemson wins the national title last year. Bama, one-and-a-half point favorite. It's up to the key number of three. Total on the game is 47. And for all the love we give Alabama, let's talk about Dabo Swinney and this Tigers program. 
you know, they've been playing on this big stage now, and they are very comfortable in their own skin. Uh, this is going to be a knockdown drag out game. Uh, absolutely looking for the Sugar Bowl to be something truly special. Total on the game uh, is 47. The serious bowl games really about to kick in. We're at the tail end of the college football season. Bang the Book has you covered with great information on the Sports Betting Podcast on Twitter at Bang the Book. Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. We've got the weird, 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 wacky Week 17 in the NFL coming your way in another video right here at bangthebook.com.